have got a very very cool a presentation for you a very very cool video for you today we are going to discuss the seven tips of uh, seven tips which you can use in order There is so much confusion in choosing a property for your food business. Sometimes the rent is high, sometimes the location is not proper, proper sometimes the land owned property owner is too irritating. What how to choose a right how to choose a right property for your food business? Hi, this is Gopal Kamath. I am a restauranter and the founder of Restaurant Launch Formula, where we teach you loads and loads of right workable strategies in order to create your own successful food business and today i have got a very very cool presentation for you a very very cool video for you today we are going to discuss the seven tips of uh, seven tips which you can use in order to select the right property for your food business so let's get going the first one is all about rent to location importance you have to always balance between rent as well as the importance of the location if the location is strong it is but obvious then the rent will be little high because your restaurant will the sales of your restaurant are depending on the importance and the uh, the significance of the location so you have to choose both the things and take into consideration don't just go for cheaper uh, cheaper uh, rent also look for an option where the importance of the location uh, and the and the significance of the location is also a thing which you have to keep into mind the second is the type of concept which kind of concept you are choosing whether it is a bar or if it is a bar then you will have to first check whether you are going to get license or no only then choose the property don't just go sign up for the property and then get in touch with the licensing agent and he tells you that oh so the, the, the licensing is not going on you have to first ensure that you will get a license there and only after that go and uh, choose the place in order to open your own food outlet. The third one is all about the number one of years. Always go for higher number of years as far as signing an agreement with the landlord or the property owner is concerned. Don't go for one or two years or three years because if you do that, what will happen is once your restaurant starts picking up, which will take around six to eight months, once the restaurant starts picking up, it, it, your, the end of the contract comes in then the landlord or the property owner is in an advantageous position to dictate his rent because your agreement is going to end in one or two years so make sure you at least have five to ten years horizon so because once you open a restaurant once you a restaurant starts doing well then you will be able to earn a lot of money uh, whereas when and you will be able to lock the rent to a certain extent it will obviously rise to uh, in a year so let's say five five percent or ten percent but at least make sure that you are not giving the whole opportunity in the hands of the landlord so that he can take advantage of this that brings us to the fourth concept which is revenue share you can also choose a concept where the landlord or the owner is ready to take a share of revenue because he will end up getting more than he what he gets if he is giving it out for rent so if that is the case you don't have tension over uh, paying a certain amount of rent every time most of the time they, there is a component of mg also mg stands for minimum guarantee so there is a minimum guarantee amount which the uh, operator has to the restaurant uh, person has to give to the uh, the owner and out of uh, above and over above that if the revenue share comes whatever is the difference that is to be given to the owner then comes the rent rise you have to also check that you uh, uh, fix up what the whatever percentage you have as far as the rising of rent is concerned usually you try to do it every two two years try to raise the price uh, raise the rent to 10 years 10 percent every two years most of the people ask for 10 percent but it all depends on how you negotiate with the land uh, how you negotiate with the property owner and how you draft the agreement then then it is about the most important thing is about owner's nature how is the owner in your first couple of meetings focus on how is his nature is he solely focused on your play or solely focused on the rent of your which he is going to get out of your place is he very irritating is he uh, is he clumsy is he uh, a pain so if if that component if you if you 
uh, observe that component uh, that he is very very irritating it might be a good idea to not go for that place because you are going to be with him for years together and it has to be a very very peaceful transaction and a peaceful kind of a partnership if you have an irritating person then it becomes a very big problem because you have to focus on your business at the same time you have to uh, get in you have to uh, face them and you have to you know make them you have to please them so make sure you have that then we will go to the seventh one which is the joint venture you can also go for a joint venture uh, wherein you tell the owner to put in the money and then you uh, operate the place it is also called as franchisee but you can go for that and you can choose a property here is a bonus bonus uh, point uh, bonus uh, tip to choose your right property and that is strong agreement have a very very ironclad agreement you know spend get a good advocate good lawyer and get the IRK clan agreement covering all the future ifs and buts and points so that you don't come into trouble and even if you come into trouble you have a way out where you are compensated and then you can leave the place with a happy face i hope you guys loved the video and i'm sure this video and the information is going to help you to open a successful restaurant of your own now if you want to go more deeper and have an in-depth understanding about the restaurant business i suggest you join my five days whatsapp class the link is in the description section under this video and in this five days whatsapp class i take you step by step to the foundational pillars of restaurant business and the food business what should be your concept what should be your location what should be your thinking like a restaurant restaurant uh, like our restaurant owner thinks and how should you match it with the right type of target clientele this these are the core pillars on which the foundation of your successful restaurant holds so if you really want to take it to a deeper level and have a better understanding about the restaurant business go to the link in the description section and sign up for my five day whatsapp class there is a small fee which i charge so that you guys are serious and you can take it and implement it to open a successful restaurant of your own so see you in the five days whatsapp class thank you so much for seeing the video up till now and see you in my next video. Thank you so much. This is Gopal Kamal signing off. Bye-bye. Love from me.